Hey guys, it's Battle Productions, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Solar Light Lunar Dark. In the last episode, we went through Route 12 on that water route, and then we got here to the Ancient Pass. Then we saw Team Solar and Team Lunar fight for some uh, orb of some sort. The ones they've been collecting the whole time, the stones. We stopped and we met one of the Elite Four guys. And then, yeah, we kind of got through halfway in the Ancient Pass, and I didn't know where to go after that. And it turns out, at this point, you can go down. Yeah, that's not so obvious, but... There we go. We just got through it. So that'd be awesome if you could hit a like that hit the, bleh, hit that like button this episode. That's really appreciated, and it really helps me out as a YouTuber getting some feedback. And if you don't want to hit that like button, please wait. Know, let me know in the comments below because I really want to become the best YouTuber as I can be. So, anyways, uh, what are we gonna send out here? Is it all battle? Let's just yeah, let's just stick with our guns right here and go. Yeah, let's see how strong my dragon. Oh no, dragon type Pokemon. No. Okay. Cool. Flynn and something. And Gezai. Oh, okay, they both got wing guns. Um Okay. I'm kinda nervous now. Um let's crunch at least one of them and fly. Let's probably attack the same target. Let's see. Okay, so crunch does a little more than half. It's gonna go for tailwind. Mmm. Why would it go why would they both go for tailwind? I guess they really want to make sure they get that up. Whatever. Let's, yeah, let's crunch that. Oh, Steel Wing, okay. So now they got speed because of the Tailwind, but that's okay. I'm not too worried. Come on, fly finish off that Wing Gun! Yes! Okay. Good job. Now we got ourselves, let's see if we can, let's go all priority, see if we can finish this guy off. Let's go! We can do this! Or not. Maybe! Come on, Maki, you got this! Yes! Teamwork! Oh, man! Woo! Wow. That was awesome. That's what I call a team right there. How do I... How do I even get... Oh, I see. Durr, there's a ledge right there. Okay, there we go. Got an elixir. And we got a train right here. I wonder what the ancient civilization built these walls. What's your opinion? I really don't care, to be honest. Because I just want to battle you and take you down! Oh, a Cosmet. What is that? I think we saw it last episode. But it's been a while since I made a video. I actually recorded a few episodes ahead and then took a couple days just to, you know, relax, make sure I, you know, just take a little break. I think we've seen this before. Not 100% sure. I, you know what? I think we did. Didn't a team, uh, who was it? Team Solar Guy have that? I'm not too sure. But we did take it down, so whatever. Let's see what's going on. Golemo. What's that evolution Pokemon? Oh, I know what it is. Okay. Arkale, come on out. Okay, so today, November 12th, 2015, I saw the Nintendo Direct. And I have a lot of good things to say about that. You know, I'll just talk about this video because I'm not really going to make a news video. Oh, a crit probably has sturdy. Yep. But anyways. Oh, I did not think of that. That is going to hurt. Crit. Okay, that's a payback crit. Except I don't even have sturdy. What the heck? Fine, be like that. Anyways, I watched the Nintendo Direct. I have to say, I've, there's a lot of positive things I'd like to talk about. I mean, yes, uh, they didn't release a new, any new Pokemon games. I mean, it's just any info about that stuff. I mean, they talk about Pokemon tournaments, some like Pokemon Picross or something, and uh, what else? I don't. I actually don't remember. But I mean, there weren't really major games other than the Pokemon tournament. And I don't have any revives. I should have picked some up off screen, dang it! Okay, fine, we'll just use a max revive. But yeah, I mean, uh, one thing I saw that was pretty cool is that they decided to bring back the old uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow games and put them on the 3DS. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I probably won't pick them up just because I already have those games. Actually, I lost my Pokemon Blue, so I might pick it up for Pokemon Blue, but I don't know. I really have re I have Red and Yellow. At one point, I did have Blue. I don't know, why I don't know where my cartridge went, but whatever. But yeah, um, what the... What's this way? Um. Okay. What's up here? Oh, crap. When I win, please show me the exit. Okay, sure, I will. But, yeah, um. Yeah, that's cool. And, you know, one thing I saw is that they changed up the... You know how you used to have a link cable for, uh, just, just to battle somebody? They implemented a way so it's all, so it'd be wireless. I think that's really cool how they did that. 
I mean, it's probably real easy to do, but still, I thought it was pretty cool. I just hope because, you know, in the recent Pokemon games, they weren't allowed to put game quarters in the game in order to keep it rated E. They better keep the old, uh, old game corners in. I'll tell you right now, if I, if I see Voltorb flip, I swear I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream into a pillow. I seriously, I hate that mini game so much. And I'd be quite happy if they did not put that in the game. But I can so see that happening because the ESRB, you know how strict they are in the US. Oh, well, you know, uh, yeah, well, there's gambling in it, so I'll put rated T. When, like, 10 years ago, it was rated E still. I was like, okay, stop getting so strict. It's so ridiculous. I mean, it's like, uh, what you would call it? Um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies? At most, that should have been rated T. But because of the graphical blood, which wasn't even looked like, it didn't even look like real blood. They rated it M! I'm like, dude! <laughs> but, whatever. I mean, like, they said for language, too, and the language wasn't really bad at all in that game. There, were, there weren't any F-bombs in the game, so it was like, okay, really? Seriously? Come on, stop being so ridiculous. But, yeah, um... Yeah, it's just... It's crazy how much the ESRB has changed. But anyways, let's talk about some other things. One thing I just, I really liked uh, that I saw was Xenoblade Chronicles X. I saw that gameplay, man. I loved it. I mean, seriously. I can't wait until that game comes out. I don't know if I'll get it right at launch, but I'll know right now I will definitely get it. it I never got to play the first Xenoblade game, and, you know, I really, I really would love to play this one. I know it's not a direct sequel, but still. I, mean, I like the concept of the old one. So, yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, so Maki's gonna come out, but, um, yeah. What do you guys think about so far, uh, of that Nintendo Direct? Um, anything else? Uh, okay. Oh, and Smash Brothers, they, uh, released that character Cloud. Not familiar with him at all, because I never played Final Fantasy. But it seems like some people were real happy about that, and some people were not at all. Like, like, they, people were happy and some people were not happy at all. And I was like, what? Uh, okay, uh, I get it. But, you know, that, that wasn't a Nintendo character, so, you know, anyone in the ballot, which is going to be announced in December, dude, it could be anyone. It could be Cory Baxter. It could be Shrek. It, it could be anyone as long as they won the vote. I would love it if they put Cory Baxter <laughs> in the Smash Brothers. That would be hilarious. Uh... Man, Cory Baxter in the house! Oh man, I love that show on Disney. That was, that was a good show. I wish they they kind of did like a sequel of some sort. Like, I mean, they really can't do that, just because of the fact that you know he's kind of older now. But they could at least kind of run the tradition. Maybe put another person in there, another Disney character, and you know go through it the same thing. I, Corey Baxter, man, he was the bomb on That's So Raven. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Now I'm talking about TV shows when I was first talking about Nintendo Directs. You know what? I, I go very off topic. A lot. But, whatever. So, let's see. What else was in the... Um, Splatoon? Uh, they announced there's like 40 more outfits that came out at 8pm today. It's actually 8.43 as what I'm recording it right now. Uh, what else? Um, they have a couple new courses. I only saw one of them. Apparently there were two. But, that'd be pretty cool. If, uh, I, I haven't seen the other one, unless, you know, I might have seen it. It really depends on, you know, I think I might have seen it after all. I, it's just, I vaguely remember it. But that's still cool. I really, I like how they added more stuff to Splatoon. I thought that was basically it. Because, I mean, the game is basically complete now. So I was like, you know what, I don't think they're going to give us any more. Or at least if, they're, if they are, they're going to make it paid DLC. But no, it's they're still coming, all the DLC. So if you don't have that game, I'm telling you, <laughs> there's more to come. You're like, oh, there's not enough in that game. No, there is. Trust me. And plus, there's more to come. Yeah, it's. I really, yeah, I really like Splatoon. It's definitely a good game. What else did they talk about? Mario Maker. Something with Mario Maker. I mean, I haven't. I don't have Mario Maker yet. So I mean, uh, I'm just not sure what benefits they added to the game. I mean, it kind. Uh, I. I'm just not sure. And then I think they showed, like, Monster Hunter gameplay. I mean, I, there were a couple times I just zoned out because I was like, you know what, I really don't care about this game. I mean, Monster Hunter, I have the, the one for the Wii U, the port, and I, was, I didn't really like it that much. I thought it was okay. But, um, yeah. 
Okay, Stone Edge Seek, can we take it down? Yes, we- Oh, critical hit! We couldn't take it down, it hung on with three. Okay, that's why. But, yeah. I mean, it, it seemed cool if it was Monster Hunter. I, I didn't see the title. What else? What's there? Oh, goodness gracious! We're resistant, but how well did we take it? Okay, we took it real well, actually. Rock slide, but there was no target! Okay, what else did they talk about? Oh, man. Oh yeah, that uh, Animal Crossing, uh, it was basically that Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival or something. Ugh. I, when I watch that, I'm like, seriously, I can't stand that game. Because I was looking forward to an Animal Crossing Wii U game, and they never came out with it. That made me so mad. When I, it was like, at first, at that E3 announcement, they were showing the villager coming out of his house, I'm like, yes, finally! A new Animal Crossing, the next thing you know it, it's like, Amiibo Festival, and you have to buy the Amiibos in order to play the game, and it's like, you gotta be kidding me. So it's gonna be a microtransaction, basically. And it's like, dude, that's so ridiculous. I, yeah, that, that, I swear, that ruined my E3. Just, just that. Itself, right there. But, I mean, I just watch it, I'm like, dude, no, 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 that's dumb. So, yeah, overall, I mean, there were a lot of people that were not happy with the E3 stuff. Like, oh, there wasn't... Oh, yeah, one more thing. They ended up showing Twilight Princess HD. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that... I mean, there were rumors going around that that was going to be on the Wii U. But then people were thinking it would be a full remaster, and it wasn't. And I looked at it, I'm like, it just looks like the Wii version that I have. I was thinking about getting it if it was truly a remaster. Oh, what's this? Escape rope. Okay. And TM71 Stone Edge. Okay, cool. But, yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, if it was a lot, like, significantly better, I was gonna get it. But, I mean, it, it looks exactly the same button HD, so it's like, is it really worth it? I mean, my, the Wii U can quote-unquote upscale Wii games to at least, they're not 720p, but, like, they sharpen the image. It's like, it doesn't even look that much better. So it's like, well, you know, it's, eh. But well, let's see. Okay, well, back to what I was saying, guys. Some people were disappointed at the about the E3 thing. And I would like to say one thing. I know a lot of people were expecting more surprises and stuff. Okay, if we haven't heard about something yet and you're expecting it to come out this year, really, it's not going to happen. And really? Fine. I'm going to go for Aqua Jet. But, yeah, it's just... It's not going to happen. It, I mean, you heard Twilight Princess HD, I was thinking maybe it might be if it really was a true secret and it was going to come out, and it, it, it would come out this, like, holiday season, it's not, it's coming out in March, so, you, you shouldn't have been expecting anything out special that's coming out at this point, because, I mean, the Wii U is almost at the end of its life, I mean, yeah, the game console came out, like, three years ago, yeah, that's true, but, I mean... Wii U sales were real bad, in my opinion, and into other people's opinions. And, yeah, it's a... <laughs> I mean, 10 million units, that's actually quite not good. So... They, the, the game pad, I mean, it was a cool innovation, but it ended up turning out to be a gimmick because none of the developers wanted to develop for it, and then all that other stuff. I mean, the main reason why they're probably moving on is because, first of all, sales. Second of all, third-party support. They got nothing on the Wii U other than indie titles, which I don't mind indie titles. They're good games, but it's just third-party developers. I mean, there's a lot of dumb third-party games. Trust me, I've seen some very lazily made games, but I'd rather have them on the Wii, or on the Wii U too, and it just never happened. And I wasn't going to buy an Xbox One or PS4, so I was like, there's really nothing on there I want to play. And, you know... It's just not worth it. So, I mean, part of it was just because, you know, they needed third-party support. I mean, the architecture in the Wii U was PowerPC, and they needed an x86. Otherwise, game, dev game devs would just be like, hey, I don't even want to develop for it, because it's going to take way too much coding just for little sales. So, I mean, the NX needs to come out strong. I'll tell you that right now. It just needs to. But anyways, here's Rodney. Hey, Lori, you made it through the Ancient Pass. That was an intense battle against those Team Solar and Lunar guys. What's up with that crystal Rex took? Maybe we could use them to stop those teams. Rex said that you'll meet us at the Ancient Museum. That's the big building south of us. First, we agreed to battle, so now I have more than six good Pokemon set to rotate them. I need more battle opportunities to train them all, so the battle will be helpful. Come on! Okay, thank you for healing up my Pokemon. I only have two Pokemon that were... Yeah, they 
they were alive. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. So now it's time for Rodney! Okay! Dalio! And you got, okay, I have Arkale. I think we should be good here. Rollouts! Yeah, that could be trouble. But it looks like we'll be able to live another one. So Surf should be super effective. Let's see how much it does. It takes it out one hit. Critical hit. Okay, I'll take that. I got quite a bit of crits this video already. But I've just been unlucky with the sturdy ability. But whatever. Okay, Bulker. What is... Oh, that's Wee Kid's evolution. Um, okay, Marquette. Uh, Marquee. Come on, come on out. You're going to take this thing out. So, basically, this Pokemon's kind of like the Magikarp in this game. You'd think, because Wee Kid was completely terrible. But once it's evolved, it's attack stat's pretty darn good. So, it's... I don't know. Oh, Hammer Arm. Dude, that would have hurt. Okay. Oh! Dude! Okay, why would you send in a grass type? I thought you'd be like, oh, I'm gonna send in something else that would be resistant. But no, you brought up Bob Bush. Wait, where are you gonna get that rock one? What the heck, man? You screwed up. Whatever. But I, yeah, that's that's interesting. He switched out to another Pokemon that is that's weak to fly. It's like, what the heck, man? Why would you do that? That's just stupid. <laughs> okay, let's fly. Let's see, Vital Throw. That's not gonna happen. Are you going to switch out again? You are! What is this? Now you actually made a good switch. Congratulations. Okay, what are we going to do? Uh, huh. Let's go to Mount Tree. Thunder Punch. That shouldn't do much. Mount Tree's a beast. Oh, come on! What a rip. Okay. Bulldoze should be quite effective. So, yeah. That's going down. If we don't get Prowl's Hectic. Good! That's definitely going down. Or not. Really. <gasps> no! My goodness! Stop switching! Fine! Be like that. Okay, let's see. So now he's actually going to be coming like a, like a competitive battler here. Psytrick, you're going to take whatever he's going to go. Hammer arm or vital throw. Brick break. Oh yeah, I can handle that. That hurts, but we did fine. So let's see. Psyche, is he going to switch? No, he is not. Okay, Psyche, come on. Take it out, 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 take it out. Yeah! Psytrick! Let's see if he does any more fancy switches in this battle. What has he got? Rhizodon. Ah, let's just keep Psytrick in. We'll just keep it. We'll just make it quicker. We're faster. Yeah, it's going to go down. Goodbye. Way to go, Psytrick. You're a beast. Okay, let's see what else. Um, Flaro. Let's go. Yeah, Arcale on this one. Yeah, that's pretty sweet looking. I don't think we faced that the last time against Rodney, did we? I don't know. I don't remember. Flamethrower. That's going to be neutral, but we should be able to take that. Oh, come on! Burn. What is this? Okay, fine. It's quite effective. Come on, take down that Flaro. Thank you! Arkale, come on, get your experience before you die of burn. Okay, good. I'd have been mad if we died from burn before we got experience. Oh, -ho! one HP. Okay, Budsore. What's uh huh? Let's go, Mockeat. Oh, it's that thing. Crap. Okay, let's just, let's sing or we miss. I think this thing's electric flying, so this could be a problem. Our, our attack harshly fell. That's not good. So we sung a pretty song. Or be not pretty song. Beautiful song. And it fell asleep. Good job, Maki. Let's see. Terexite, you're up, buddy! Really? That was a rip! What was that? I woke up the next turn. Okay. Stone Edge. No! Oh my goodness. Ah, Terexite, come on, take it down. Okay, nope, not with minus two. Gosh dang it. Okay, Aerial Ace is going to do nothing to this thing. That was a crit. It did nothing. Rock Slide, we'll finish it off. Goodbye. And that is it. Eh, maybe next time. Ah, um, another lose for me. Let me heal your Pokemon. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. 
gonna go to the ancient museum now. You should come too. Rex is waiting for us. See you in a bit. Okay, so it looks like it's down there. So let's not head that direction. Let's let's explore. Uh huh. You move from Rust Bolt City. There's nothing in that trash can. And you know what? Let's stop in the Pokemon Center because we can go to Pokemon, get some revives. You know, because yeah. We need some revives. We're at a hard point of the game, so yeah, we'll buy. Oh, I don't know. We'll buy 20 revives because we have the uh, 25. We have the money, so why not? And let's buy a few more max repels. Six. Yeah, that's fine. And please come again. Let's see, is the museum actually down here? Yes, it is. Oh, or, is that the museum? Yeah, that's probably the museum. I don't know. It's kind of dark, so I was like, hmm. That doesn't have a door, but yeah, it does. It's just hard. Oh, whoa, what is this? You want to judge my Pokemon? Sure, let's go Mount Tree. It's average, above average overall. I'd say it's, its best potential lies in the special attack stat. Its speed stat's also good. Oh, I see. This guy tells you the IVs. Okay, so what he just told you right there is that for IVs, there's different rates. Like, I don't know how you call, what you call that. Okay, so... Like, he says different things depending on your IVs, and yeah, he says my special attack and speed are above average, so that's pretty good. So I believe, like, it's like, if you have a Pokemon with perfect IVs, it's like, this Pokemon's outstanding, but yeah, that, that guy tells you what its EVs are, which is pretty cool. Oh, we got Tia Dragon Tail. Hmm. That does come in handy. I kind of like that move. For coverage, I want to give that to a Pokemon. Let's give it to... Okay, to Rek'Site, I guess. What could we learn? Or get rid of? Hmm. No, I'm not going to learn it, because I have Strength. I probably should get... Uh, should I get rid of Strength? I don't know. I don't know. At some point, I'll probably get rid of something for Dragon Tail, because that's a pretty good move. Because it's... Oh, you should follow right. I don't want... I want to explore! Come on, man! Fine, I will go into the museum, I'm sorry. And here's Rex. There you are, come this way. What was that guy's like, hey, you have to pay $50. I'm like, wow, what a scam. Trying to lure me in here. Okay, so, this legendary exhibit, this is where we can learn about the legendary crystals. The scientist next to me is Sean. He specializes in ancient artifacts, and he knows a lot about the history of Rakoto. Hello, guys. Rex filled me in. So these two teams have the sun and moon crystals. This isn't good. So what do these crystals do? Why are they so important? The crystals are connected to the legendary Pokemon Slytherin and Lunaro. Like I've, like other people have told you before, they are formed when they were born. We believe the crystals hold a special power and energy, if you will. This energy grants power to Solaron and Lunaro, making them stronger than they already are, like it's a battery. There's a myth which states who, the, okay, the who holds the crystals of sun and moon hold the power of, to command order and chaos. That's why they wanted those crystals. So now they have those crystals, they can control the legendary Pokemon? That's what the myth suggests, so this isn't good news. If they manage to release Solar and Lunaro back to the world, they can control them like puppets. Since two different sides hold a crystal, there will be nothing but disaster. Solar and Lunaro are matched in power, there will be no end! This is terrible, but Rex, the balance crystal, this crystal has purpose, and we just don't know what the purpose is. Perhaps it can help in some way? We have our top scientists working on it to figure out what it can do. I knew it was important, I'm glad those teams overlooked it. We can stop them, we're already winning! Lori has the core stone, they don't even know that! Keep that stone with you. I trust it will be safe in your hands. For now, we will let the scientists research the balance crystal and try to find something that can help. So how about you three look around the city and forget about this trouble for a while? You are on a journey after all. Enjoy it. We will. And we promise to stop Team Solar and Lunar any chance we get. I'm sure you will. So now please enjoy yourselves. Sean and I will continue researching the balance crystal. What, can we not go down there? I hope they can figure out the balance crystal, how it works real soon. The only thing I... The only thing I know is that we have to stop Team Lunar and Solar, but first I, I will go to the castle and battle the Castellian Lizzie. Or Castellan. Castellan uh, Liz, Lizzie, you should do the same, Lord. As I said, I'm bat not battling Lizzie. I'm afraid of dragon types. I'm gonna go to Green Pine City for my next badge. Professor Pinewood also said he'll be there and he'll get for us. So see you in Green Pine City. Bye! Uh, whatever. Bye. Good luck battling Lizzie, Lori. I know that you'll beat her, but it's first it's my turn. Bye! Can we, like, go down or... Shouldn't disturb a scientist. Come on! They're restricting me from doing anything! Hey, let's talk to you. All the museum a few days ago, I found a weird jogger and brought it here. It's more than 500 years old, and I can see it in this glass box. I really don't care. 
How cool is that? This skull looks like the head of my favorite Pokemon, Terexite. I have one in my party. I will show you. It is right here. Of course, you don't see that because you are pathetic. Okay, you're busy looking at the fossil and I have the real deal. Let's talk to you. All fossils we buy have a rock type Pokemon. Here, take this. This is a good move for a rock type Pokemon. Yeah, but I... I already got that TM! I have two of the same TM! <laughs> I got the first one earlier! <laughs> what the? Okay, I think that was a mistake in the game developing, but whatever. You know that there was once an, an ancient organization, a uh, civilization living in the ancient past, and there was an incident and the people of civil civilization all disappeared. you find out more about their history in this museum. Is there anything else? No, there is not. Watch him have me pay as I go out. Hello, welcome to Okay, it's free. Enjoy yourself. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Okay. Let's explore. Hello there. Welcome to that city. It's a beautiful old city where many places in the world. The world is modest. Okay, I don't... I didn't read that right, but I don't care. So, let's talk to you. Okay, um... The ancient past. Okay. Her dragon types are weak to fairy types. Maybe I'll... Imagine a Lopug defeating a Dracofin making me laugh. Ah, ah, okay. I already got a nice type, so I should be good. I kind of wish I had a fairy. Pixelily is a fairy. I could have used Pixelily. Oh, well. Have you seen the castle yet? It's been handed out to the family dragon experts for centuries. Claire, the dragon gym leader. Johto is a part of the family line. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's amazing, all right. Now let's talk to these little kids. Why are they home by themselves? That's kind of weird. They shouldn't be home by themselves. They're not old enough. Anyone could just barge in and kidnap them. When I'm older, I want to be as strong as Rex and Lizzie. A lot of strong trainers come to Rastic City. I'll be the next. Uh, okay, you come from Rastic City. Okay, whatever. Oh, there's Rick! Rick Grimes! Home sweet home. Okay. Cool. I heard that the castle is an unofficial gym. If you meet the gym leader there, she'll give you something incredible. Is that up here? Yes, it is. Hi, Trader Mom's Bell. Okay, but Lizzie's not here at the moment. She might be at the museum at her, or at her parents' house. Okay, well, she's probably at her parents' house. So let's go in and find Rick Grimes! That's great, dear. I'm pleased to hear well, how well you're doing. I'm sure if you beat Rex, if you wanted to... I'll beat him after I've won the Pokemon League! Oh, who's this? Yes, that's Lori. I met her in Serpentine City. She's competing in gym battles, too. We battled a few times. Rival, that's cool! I'm still gonna win the Rakoto League, even if Lori is in it, you'll see. Alright. Oh, look, there's Lizzie. I think. Oh, look who it is! You should battle your big sister before taking on the Elite Four, don't you think? Oh, Lizzie! Of course! Oh, he's like, she's like British or something? Mom and Dad told me that he started your journey in competing in the gym battles, and that's great. But just because we're related doesn't mean I go easy on you in a battle. I expect nothing less! Actually, the funny thing is, is that if they're really British here, the funny thing is, <laughs> is that the actor who does Rick Grimes is actually British. He, I mean, he just sounds like this in the show. Like, when they had him on The Talking Dead, which is the show that's like right after the, sh like, when they do the show, they like talk about what happened in the episode. They had him a few times, and he's actually British. Andrew Col uh, Link, no, Andrew Lincoln, that's what his name is. Yeah, <laughs> full out British. I'm like, dude, that's amazing. But yeah. I expect nothing less. So I thought it was kind of funny here how they're British and Rick is actually British in real life. So that's really cool. Then come to the Rastic Castle and you'll see if you'll be able to defeat me. Alright then, I'm gonna go have some quick training session then I'll battle you and beat you, Lori. Oh, Lori, looks like you even stand a chance against my sister. We'll see about that. Sorry for my little brother. He feels like he needs to prove himself. He thinks he's always in my shadow just because I run... Rastic Castle and I'm an expert with the Mega Evolutions. Oh! We might get our Mega Evolution when we beat her! Oh my goodness, she might give us that watch thing in order to activate it. Dude! That is awesome! Okay, he may appear to be mean and hot-headed, but he's a really good boy. What? Professor Pinewood told you that the it told you about an expert in Mega Evolutions? Oh, and what's that? That's a mountain knit. Oh, you don't have to use it? Aha, I'll teach you how to use it, but first you have to battle me in Rastic Castle. I'll wait for you there. I hope you don't fear your dragon type dear. Don't you fear dragon type Pokemon? Haha. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, let's see. What was that one girl's name? Shoot, I can't think of her name. Kira. She went right on to Green Pine City. She's not even gonna get her Mega Evolution watch. What the heck? Wow, she'll probably get it somehow. Rick is a very hot headed boy, but he thinks he can overcome his sister. But for me, he'll always be my little sunshine. Aw, that's so cute. 
I love both my children, but even if Rick isn't as talented as Lucy, I think he'll go all the way. That is right for him. <laughs> what? Okay, um, way to... <laughs> way to insult your son. But anyways, yeah, I think we're gonna end off the episode here. We're at 30 minutes. Next episode, we're gonna be going to the Rassic City Castle. And hopefully we will learn how to use our Mega Stone. That would be awesome. We can't wait to see what our Mega Evolution looks like for our Mount Tree. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark.